Sega! Hello everybody, welcome to Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on the Sega Genesis. And this is going to be for my 100 subscribers special. If you remember a few years back, I made a video of Sonic 2 playing through the entire game. Um, and that was for a 25 subscriber special. And I really thank everybody for the support because I didn't think I would ever get this far. I only made videos just for fun and I liked making videos and it was just something I would watch over and over again. So yeah, I really appreciate it. And so, the same thing I did a few years back, I'm gonna do it again but for my 100 subscriber special. And this time I'm not gonna be playing the Ultimate Genesis Collection Edition, I'm actually gonna be playing the original game on real hardware. So, without further ado, let's just begin! Oh yeah, by the way, I am not gonna get uh, Super Sonic and all the Chaos Emeralds, I prefer playing the game as regular Sonic and just to save up time, pretty much. So, without further ado, let's begin! Here we go at Emerald Hill, um, one of the best hill levels in the entire Sonic franchise. And I actually prefer it over Green Hill Zone just because of how of the level design is. The level design is very open, I want to say. I mean, Green Hill was open, don't get me wrong, but this, I don't know, I just prefer it. I also prefer the looks of this. And look at that background, it's simply amazing. Like, there's a flower, a sunflower garden back there, ocean and clouds, it's kind of beautiful. Here we go. No, you are not gonna get me. There we go. Alright, we're off to a good start already. Extra life, baby. Let's go. Can I make it in 50? Oh, just barely 50 seconds. So let's go. Ah, the time bonus. Man, they are not generous with the time bonuses, it looks like. 5,000 for getting under a minute yet, yeah, under 30 seconds. That's like an extra life automatically. That's crazy. There we go. Oh god, I'm an idiot. Big idiot moment. I keep thinking there's a monitor there for some bizarre reason. Can we get in here? Nope, we cannot. What the? That was new. Alright, let's see how we can do this. Well, that didn't work out as I intended. Come on, okay, hold on. There we go, never mind, that still did not work. I'm trying to get that extra one up. It's somewhere up there, I gotta go back and get it. Gotcha. Alright, we're doing pretty good. I'm, I'm mostly gonna be speedrunning through the game. Well, not speedrunning, because I am not an expert at this game. Even after all these years, I am not an expert. I just like having fun in this game, just messing around with everything. That's what I like doing. Let's go. That is a long course. Now, where is that one? Hmm. It's somewhere. I know it is. Oh, it's down here. Here it is. Or, wait. Is it here? No, it's not. Okay, I'm an idiot. Or... There it is. Okay. That's why I was confused. Let's see if we can get an extra life. I hope we can. I hope. Gotta be careful. Alright, let's go. Oop! Almost got me. We won't have to use the top half, I guess. Hold on. Here we go. The spin dash, baby. I love that move so much. It's just so satisfying just charging up. Oh my god, that was close. Alright, we did it though. 100 rings. First boss, let's go. I love that music, man. It's so epic. Ah! Oh my god, that was a sick dodge right there. I wonder how close that got to hitting me. There we go. First zone done in about three or two minutes, maybe? Who knows? 
let's hope that I can beat this game by the time the recording's done. Because I'm just recording this for my iPhone. I don't really have a professional camera or editing software to use, so I gotta use the most basic tools I have available at the moment. And Chemical Plant Zone. What is there to say about this level? Almost everything about how great it is. This is still one of my favorite Sonic levels ever, and this song is probably my favorite song in the entire Sonic franchise, and that's saying a lot because Sonic music is my absolute favorite. Alright. God, I remember playing this level so much when I was working here. Yeah. I think I've already talked about how my first experiences with this game, I think I already discussed it, I don't know, I have terrible memory. But basically, I first played this game in 2011 on the Christian, I mean, not the Christian, I had the Ultimate Genesis Collection on PS3. And it just blew my mind on how good this game was compared to the first one. The first game was good, but I didn't really like Marvel Zone or any of the other levels besides Starlight and Green Hill. But Sonic 2, it fixed all of the first game's problems, and it just made it so good. This level, this game, oh my god, it is so amazing. Ah, two wing shy. That's all right though. Oh man, I remember playing this level so much back in the day. Uh, 2011 was when I first played Sonic 2, and 2013 is when I played the remastered version. Oh my god, I fell in love with it. I play that sucker every day. I'm not kidding, like, I used to play this game almost every day back in the day, even in the hospitals when I was just tied up to a bed, I didn't care, I was still playing Sonic 2. Ah oh, man, those good old memories I'll never get to experience again, unfortunately, and that's the problem with some of these things. Oh yeah, um, does anybody remember the water section in this level? This is where most beginners, uh, got trapped and got stuck on. And I did too, but there is a secret shortcut that skips all of the water parts, thankfully. Alright, just gotta map this real quick. And here we are, we off! Oh wait, that did not work out as I intended. Let's go! Supersonic speed! Yes! Oh, it's just so satisfying doing that. Alright. I don't know if you can actually control where you can go in the tubes, I always wanted that. Here we go, look at that! He's going off screen! My god, he's a beast! I think this is actually the fastest level in Sonic history, and that definitely shows. Okay, here's how you get to the secret area. You gotta spin dash right here and jump at the perfect timing. Now I overshot it there. Let's see if I can do it less. There we go. This skips the entire water part, and it just skips right straight to the boss, which is really handy. Gotta slow down here. Alright, here we go. It's so cool that they have this hidden path, it's just, it's so well hidden because there's no indication that you can actually get in there. You have to basically just look up a level map or go deep up to find it. Alright, this boss, man, I hated this boss when I was little. Like, I hated it just because of how annoying it was. Because, like, I used to die on a console just because the tiles and just how short the arena is, and I was a dumb bot there. Ouchie. Eh, it doesn't matter, we got an extra life anyway, so I'm fine with it. Here we go. I got a quick route. There we go. Let's hope Tails doesn't mess us up here. Tails? Okay, there we go. Because Tails can mess you up when you're doing your combo thing, and it can be a, a little annoying. There we go. Tails, Tails? Okay, Tails almost died there. Gotta make sure he's safe. I really love Tails, especially in this game. He can be quite helpful, except for the special stages, but other than that, he's, he's a very good sidekick. He's definitely worthy of a new character. And he's definitely the perfect sidekick for Sonic. Oh, Aquatic Ruin. This level is so underrated, man. It's so underrated, because nobody ever discusses it, and it angers me because of how amazing this level is. It's one of the best water levels in Sonic history, and I just love it to death. The aesthetic is really nice, and overall, the music, oh my god, the music is so... 
it's just so catchy, memorable, and happy. It's just unfortunate that the song is so short. It's only like 30 seconds long. About that, yeah, pretty much just 30 seconds. Alright, here we go. We're doing pretty good. Let's go. Ooh, that was lucky. Ah! Wow, I can't believe I avoided that. Oh no, it's doing that weird glitch thing. Okay, hold on. Ha! Well, that sucked. I want to try to get another one up. Hold up. Before we go, I don't want to risk it. Don't want to. Alright, here we go. I don't re remember a lot of stuff on the top half, so I gotta be. Go ah! Seriously? That just snuck up out of nowhere. I couldn't even see that, but. Alright, that's fine. Where's Tails? <laughs> Way to go. Alright, the second act. This this water level is perfect because only half of it is underwater. And you can actually avoid all of the water parts if you're skilled enough, which is awesome. Also, watch this, watch this. Look at this. It's a raft. And I didn't even know this was a thing until like many years later. I was so shocked when I accidentally discovered it. Oh yeah, this bit. You gotta really time your spin dash well in this area. There we go. Can we? Oh, we did it. We got the invincibility, I think. There we go. Gotta wait. Alright. Whoa, almost got me. Those stupid grounders, man. I remember I hated them. What the? Uh, um, okay. I guess that's normal. Uh, that was really odd. Nothing can stop me! Nothing! I regret nothing! Alright, I got an idea. Just keep spin dashing here, because the wasp will come. There they are. Ha! There we are. Alright, this boss, this boss is really clever and fun, but you can definitely cheese it like what I'm doing here. Like, look at this. Like, Robotnik's just really slow with the hammer. I get that as a huge hammer and all, but there's no way it could be that slow. Eggman really needs, uh... I'm not Eggman, Robotnik. I keep mixing up the names sometimes. I'm more of a Robotnik guy. I'm not a big fan of the name Eggman. That's probably why they changed the name, because... He was called Eggman in the Japan version of Sonic back in the day. However, in America, they called him Robotnik, and Robotnik definitely sounds a little bit more threatening than Eggman, because who could take a name like Eggman seriously? Ah, Casino Night Zone. Such an amazing level. It's so fun. So many flashing lights and everything. Just look at all the colors going on, man. Like, that is insane. I'm really impressed that the Genesis is able to display this much colors, because it's just bursting with color, man. Ah! Oh, I didn't even know that was there. Let's see if we can get a jackpot. I want to get a jackpot. I think everybody always gambled on the swap machines, probably because it was just too much fun. Damn. song, man. Just so jazzy and just so... It, um, man, I'm, the music in this game is absolutely incredible. And I don't know if I prefer it over Sonic 3 or not. I don't know. Kinda hard, because I enjoy so many songs in the Sonic franchise, but I think I mostly listen to this game's soundtrack specifically. Come on, there we go. If you hold the A button down, you can actually have more of a chance of getting uh, the 3 of something, which is what I'm doing. Of course, I can also get Eggman, which is quite a big problem. Extra life? Yes, we did! Okay, let's just move on now. Come on, there we go. Oh, hold on. I know there's a secret, uh... Super Rings monitor. I think they actually do call it Super Rings, but I just always call it the, the Ring Monitor. Alright, 
right. Oops. Here we go. I really like the plunger. I do think it's a little slow, but other than that, I think it's fine. Is this way another slot machine is? Nope, that's another area. Boing, boing, boing. That's all you're gonna do in this level, but that's what makes it so great. And what on earth is Tails doing? He's doing that weird walking thing. It's it's just a minor glitch, though. Alright, here we go. Extra life. I always discovered that by, on accident, because I didn't get used to Sonic's rolling mechanics back in the day, so that was my only way out back in the day. Kinda hilarious. Oh yeah, not that way, this way. Oh dude, that is fun, that is actually fun. Come on. Yeah! Jackpoint. I guess I should mess around in this area. Oh, Tails, you ruined it! Well, next July, so I'm happy about that. Whoa! Here. We. Go! Now, this is where the slot machine is, I believe. Yep, it is. Should I go for a jackpot again? Probably not. I want to keep all my rings by the end of the level. Ooh, invincibility. Not oops. Wrong direction. Eh, who needs invincibility? Invincibility is overrated. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the wrong direction. Oopsies. Oh wait, never mind. That was the right one. Sorry. Keep getting confused sometimes. Let's go. Yeah. That was very successful with the amount of rings we got. Pretty sweet, I must say. This may take a while, because Sonic 2. It ain't an easy game. Um, the last half of Sonic 2 is really hard, like really hard. The first half though is incredible. And the other half, I mean that's the more controversial part, but for me I personally love it. Come on, ow! I did not expect that coming. There we go. There we go. Here we go. Come on, man. You always gotta do this. It's just it's just so much fun doing this. Bum, 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 bum. Look at those points ranking up. Oh, no, no. Should I go down the bottom path? Should I? Nah, I'm just gonna get these for points. Why not? What the tails? Oh. I didn't even realize I was down there. I'm an idiot again. Sorry, it's kind of hard to memorize Sonic levels sometimes, especially since I went on a Sonic hiatus for a little while because, um, reasons. Here's a secret path here that goes to the bottom route, which I really like. I accidentally discovered that, like, a year ago or two. I was so shocked when I discovered it, dude. Here we go. Boing. Let's go. Who needs to bring monitor? Nobody needs it. I want to get a jackpot. I'm a, I'm a gamble in the slot machines. I just hope I don't get Eggman, but it's really like I meant robotic. God, I keep mixing up the names. Here we go. Oh yeah, it's right here. Now this one's actually pretty easy. Ah, okay. Got it. some rings. It only gives you ten rings. I guess it makes sense somewhat. Alright, let's see if we can get an extra wanna. I meant extra life. I always call it wanna because of all arcade games. I'm so addicted to- Ah, oh, no! Ah! No! I shouldn't have gambled. But I'm still gonna do it anyway because I have plenty of time. What the- Unlucky, yeah, that's very unlucky. If I get it a third time, I swear. Alright, we go. Alright, this may take- this- oh god. Yeah! I think this is the only stage where you can actually max out your rank counter. I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, what is my luck? My luck off the hook today. Nah, I'm still aiming for the jackpot because... 
some gambling, man. Ah, 30 rings. I think Tails gives you 20, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Oh god, this is going to take a lot longer than I thought it would be. Ah, oh, no, not again. I'm still going to gamble no matter what. You always got to gamble. Oh, okay, that was close. And I really want to get the jackpot just to show y'all what happens when you get it, because... You know, the people that don't play this game. I really do recommend actually playing this game. It is amazing. Oh no, okay, thank god. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, we got the same thing again twice in a row. Come on. Give me the jackpot, baby. I can smell it. Smell coming. Come on. Okay, does Tails actually give you 20 yet? Yeah. Oh, 25, okay. So that's just 5 ring rest of the Sonic. Gotcha. Uh-oh. That was bad. Okay, what is Tails actually doing here? Come on! I just want a jackpot! Please! Oh uh, man, playing this game. Uh, should I do two player? Nah, I won't do that. Um, I'm gonna do that in a separate video if I ever have any friends coming. I guess I'll have to wait in the future to have friends to play. Ah, uh, no. Oh, okay. Okay, I might give up soon. Oh, 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 yes! Jackpot! Let's go! Finally! Oh, we need five more rings, baby. Alright, finally. That took a while. A lot longer than I expected, but hey, we got it. Ah, one more ring. There was rings down there, but I'm not gonna aim for it. Ah, what's going on here? Okay, never mind. Coin. Ouch. Unlucky. What's down here? Rings, 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 rings? Ah. Don't you dare be Robotnik. Don't you dare. Okay. No! No! No, 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 no! Give me out, give me out, give me out, give me out, give me out. Thank you. I don't want to lose all my rings right when I'm one away from an extra life. Because that would make me angry. <laughs> oh, what the? I did not mean to go in there. Ah, this area. Everybody remembers it. There we go. Extra life, baby. Finally. Let's see what's up here. I'm gonna go up because why not? Invincibility, let's go. That that crab batnik's like the only batnik in the entire zone. It's kinda crazy. But here we are at boss time, I believe. Yep, boss time. Let's go. Come on, Tails, stop doing the weird thing. Let's see. Gotcha! Ooh, first right off the bat, man. Gotcha. Oops. Invisibility just had to run out at that time. I really, this is probably my favorite boss in the whole game, just because it tests your jumping skills, and I really like it. You gotta perfectly aim your jumping, you know? Ah! It's just really fun messing around in this boss, too. Very difficult for a beginner, but once you get the hang of how Sonic feels, then this boss is really fun. Come on, Tails, don't get crushed. Okay, thank God. Alright. Um... Let's see. Oh yeah, did anybody else do this? I really like the new sprite. This is probably my favorite sprite all in Sonic. I love Sonic 3, but I don't know. I kind of prefer this, mostly because of the color and how he looks. It's basically just a slightly modified version of Sonic 1 with a new color palette and changed his eyes a bit, and that's really it. There we go. Oh, overshot it. Oh, never mind. That was lucky. Okay, Hilltop Zone, what is here to discuss? For one thing, it looks exactly like an Emerald Hill. It's basically just Emerald Hill Zone, but a uh, colored blue. You may think that's lazy, but there's actually kind of a reason. 
because Sonic 2 originally had a time travel concept, and this was going to be the past version of Emerald Hill, which is why it basically is a copy of Emerald Hill with blue. They changed up the trees a bit, that, which is nice. I really like the background too, even though it's really simple, it is pretty cool to look at. Boing. Oh yeah, this path right here, like, up in that loop, like, I always thought there was another path there and I just could, could never figure out how to get there. But then, I went debug mode and I realized there's actually nothing there but a wall and I was really disappointed. The Christian Whitehead remake, however, adds a new path there, which is really nice. Alright, here we go, can we aim it, aim it, aim it? Okay, we almost did. Another extra life? Yep, 17 lives! Gosh, we're ranking it in today. Alright, here's the earthquake pod. Oh man, we barely made it out. Why is there a checkpoint next to the like the signpost? That's just really weird, I guess for special stage reasons, but still man, still kind of an on placement for a checkpoint. Is anybody ever gonna die there? Alright, second act of Hilltop, let's go. Alright, oh, where's... okay. We gotta time this perfectly and I hope I can do it right. Gotcha! Oh, we did it! Oh, uh, this part's really fun right here. Hold up. Oh yeah, never mind. I got this. Now you gotta... I got... I meant to go in the other direction, my bad. Okay, my control is getting slippery. Okay, there we go, finally. That's how you're supposed to do it. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, that was bad, but at least we didn't get hurt. Oh yeah, you gotta do the thing, hold on. Man, I love the spin dash so much. It definitely is the best move in the entire Sonic series, definitely. Tails, you almost messed me up there, of course. Whoa! Ooh, almost got him. What the? That should've gotten him. Thanks for the shield. Oh yeah, the lava rising part. I definitely remember this. Here we go, there's an invincibility monitor over here, there we go. Now do not mess up those jumps with the platforms, because that's kind of serious. Alright, we made it out safely. Oh yeah, this area with the springs. Who put springs in the middle of the dang floors? Anybody remember that reference? Spin! There we go. Ooh, man, that was a lucky shot. I would fall, but I also don't want to. Let's see if I can do the bouncing animation. Come on. That, never mind. Can we get 100 rings before? Oh, whoa! Whoa! Close call there. Let's see if I can defeat these suckers. Alright. Uh, we're next to the boss. I want to try and get the, uh, uh, an extra life. Oh no. Is it even going to be possible? Oh shoot. Oh shoot, I messed up real bad. Okay, well, that was bad. I thought there wouldn't be a wall there. Let's see if I can defeat this boss in like just one sitting. Ah, Tails, you messed me up. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Tails! Why does he always have to mess up when I have to do the combos? That's the one bad thing about Tails, is that he can mess up your combos. Oh god, I didn't get any rings, I'm an idiot. Ah, Tails! That's the second time he's done it. Wow, I rarely ever die in this boss. And it's all because of Tails messing me up. Alright, there we go. 
Now don't mess me up again, Tails. Don't. Ah! Dang it, Tails. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it! Ah! Okay, this is just embarrassing. <laughs> Seriously! I, this never happens to me. It's because of Tails, he keeps... Okay, here's how it works. Basically, uh, when Tails hits the boss, right when you're hitting him, you fall through the boss. So it makes it difficult because, well, for that reason. Ah! Ooh, that was lucky. There we go. That's how it should have been like. Now that was just embarrassing, man. I can't believe that happened. Here we go. Spin! Ah, oh, man, this level is so- it's so cool. I love the aesthetic. The music's very funky, I like it. It's just a really nice level. And I really like um, the two-player version of this song, even though I consider that to be a Hidden Power Zone song. Oh yeah, this level also is the one that contains the secret level Hidden Power Zone if you played the remasters of Sonic 2. And by the way, when I was little, I accidentally disco discovered Hidden Power Zone, and my mind was blown. Like, it was one of the uh, best video game secrets I ever found, man. It was so cool. And the level itself is really amazing, even in the early prototypes. It's just really fun to play through. Let's get rid of these uh, bugs. There we go. I want to try to do a trick shot, come on. Looks like it's not going to really be happening anytime soon, come on. Okay, never mind, just, just go. Ah, oh, never mind. There we go. There's a lot of rings in this one, jeez. The second act, uh, where the secret level is, it's basically in that infamous spike pit, the inescapable death pit if you don't know. Basically, if you fall down there, it's nothing but a pit of spikes and you can't even get out of it, and not even Super Sonic can escape it, it's quite insane. Can you? Hold up. Aha! Ah, never mind. Ah, oh, those spike chains, I remember them. Wait. What is over here? This got to be some nowhere. I need that for sure. Oh, yeah, I probably, yeah, I probably would not want to go there. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. I think I know a little secret down here. Let me look down. Okay, let me try. Oh, uh, never mind, it's not there. Oops, that was bad. I remember uh, there was a hidden one up somewhere in those pits, but I'm not going to try and check the other ones. Can I get a hundred rings before the boss? Maybe. Meow. 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 Meow.
Let's go. Okay. Oh! Extra life, baby. Let's go. Boss time! B -b -b boss time! Here we go. Gotta watch out for uh, the sharp uh, rocks, I guess you wanna call it. I guess the rocks are pointy rocks, I guess I should say. Come on. Come on. Get. Ah! So close. Gotcha. Man. I hope the recording doesn't stop anytime soon because that would be a real shame. It will be. Let's see. Now, um, oh yeah, the balancing animation. Look at that. That's just, that's funny. I like it. I wonder if I can catch the, the hidden one? I doubt it. Like, they gave him three separate balancing animations. Like, that's how much detail to put in this game. And his early prototype sprites are even better. Like, way smoother. Alright, Oil Ocean. Now, this is where the game gets a little bit controversial on the downsides of Sonic 2. And I can understand. Oil Ocean does... Is, it is pretty clunky. But I don't know, I actually like it. The aesthetic is really unique, and I like it for that. Although I do think these, uh, those, what, I, what do you even call them? Rising lids, I say? I guess. But they can be, they do stop the momentum, so it can be quite frustrating. And there's so many spikes in this level, like a lot of spikes. Oh, the seahorses. God, I hate them. Every time I'm trying to get supersonic in this level, they always ruin my chance. Alright, oop, I almost got him. Man, I'm flanking in the lives today, god. I was gonna try a no death run, but clearly that didn't happen because of Tails messing me up. Yep. Whoa. Don't be a seahorse, don't be a seahorse. Okay, thank god. There we go. No. Oh, dang, Tails just knocked him out. Nice one. Let's see if I can... Okay, never mind. I could do some trick shots. Whoa, almost got me. Oh, I like the slides. They're just fun. You know, why did Eggman build an oil ocean to begin with? Why? I guess for robots, I guess, but that's really it? But man, and like, Robotnik is very quick at making stuff. Like, he can build a death egg and many cities and stuff just in a, like, what, like a few hours or something? Like, seriously. Like, it's amazing how Eggman can just build stuff so fast, you know? Oh, that was close. Alright, where are we going? Alright. Can we make it to the end of the level? I don't think so. Ah! We did it! There we go! I do think Oil Ocean can be a little bit clunky with the momentum, but other than that, I think it's a really good fine level. Metropolis is where people say it's bad. I can understand that, but I still like Metropolis because of the challenge it brings. I like it. Alright. Dang, got him. Ooh! I did not expect that spring to be there. Here we go, there we go. Oh yeah, I did not mean to do that. Whoa, 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 what just happened? Okay, that was... weird. Oh, I expected it to be a lot shorter than that. Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah, oh, the seahorses really have to ruin that. Dude, that was awesome until they did that. Slippity slide. I wonder if there's a secret path there. Um, maybe. Looks like there is. Here we go, over here. Smash him! 
smash him. Oh, there we go. Oh, I forgot how to get that. I forgot. They always hide the monitors and kind of tricky places. I, oh, whoa. How did that not hurt me? Oh yeah, this area. I like this area because it has a hidden, a uh, few hidden monitors that I like to get. No. Okay. There we go. We got it. Sorry if I'm kind of silent, I'm kind of running out of ideas to talk about. I really love, I don't know, this level, it, it like, it's so like, how do I describe it? Gloomy, I guess, because of, you know, the oil in the sky, and this is like, this is like the only level in the entire game where you can actually see the sun, which is kind of funny to think about, because the sun really isn't seen in Sonic games much. Is this the boss? Yes it is. Who knew about this secret over here? And a secret invincibility monitor. And who likes that? Okay, here we go. Boss time. This boss is really easy if you know that you can just stick to the floor. Alright, you can just stick under here and hide under here, and the laser won't even hit you. But now I'm gonna try doing it legitimately because, um, more challenge. That was easy. Uh, <laughs> Tails died. I always did wonder that. How does the oil not catch on fire? Like, this is an oil ocean, and his submarine exploded. How on earth did that not catch the oil on fire and probably destroy the entire world if it actually did that? Seriously, just think about how the world would be. Maybe that's why the o the sky is very orange. <laughs> Who knows? I'm a tropical result. This is where the game starts to get really hard. Da, da, da. God, those astrons. Those were my worst enemy ever when I was a little child. God, they were just so annoying because they were everywhere and they were always on them, uh, the screws you had to ride on. Ah, uh, the crab meats. The crab meats are really annoying because they always put them in very low ceiling areas. And it's also because, like, only half of the hitbox is actual way you can actually uh, kill it. The other half, it hurts you. Ah, uh, the slicers. Uh, what a lot of people say is the most dangerous and most hated Sonic enemy ever. And definitely shows because of those... I mean, the slicers, they're just so annoying. They pop up at places you don't expect them. And also because they have such a huge range, man. Alright, oh, that was lucky. Whoa! Wow! What the... No, you will not get me. What the... How did that hurt me? Ah, it's the hitbox thing again, ain't it? Please be no slices, cause I'm pretty close to, uh, an extra life. Alright, gotta take my time. Oh no, the slices. I'm at the astronauts, come on, get me. There we go. Come on, Tails can make it quicker, thankfully. Extra life, baby. We got 20. What the? Oh, wow. That was cool. Aha. Take that, you stupid astronauts. Isn't there a secret over here? Oh, wait. Never mind. That's in another area. This level is very huge, by the way. It actually is the only level that uses a level wrapping. Basically, um, they don't fit the entire level on one screen, uh, they don't fit the entire level, so basically they, uh, they do a level app, where half of the level, okay, this is actually really hard to explain. Basically, to make it look like that the level doesn't, you know, um, you know, have two parts, they just, they have a level wrap to make it look like that it's just one seamless, um, one full level. Oh, that, it's just so, it's so hard to explain, but just look up what level wrapping means in Sonic games. Because I cannot explain it. What the, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, here we go. We made it. Let's go. Da, 
Here we go. How many times have I said here we go? I just... I'm running out of ideas to talk about in this game because I'm trying to pay attention. Because this is... this game is serious. Like, really serious. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 what the... Ugh, that hitbox man is so irritating. Whoa! Alright, oh yeah, the, those three rings, there's actually four columns of three rings just put together, so that's why it went from like 17 or 15 to just like 29. Here's a super route, oh, there we go. We may get another extra life if I'm actually lucky enough. Hopefully. Whoa, that was close. I'm what the? Okay, Tails defeated that, that makes sense. On. Those have an easy pattern. Those aren't that bad, except when you're playing a Super Sonic. Hold on. Here we go. A faster wave. Take that. Should I go up? Okay, never mind. Whoa, 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 whoa! Thank God for that extra platform! You always gotta watch the pattern of the spears, or spikes, whatever they're called. Did I seriously make it to the end already? Oh, uh, never mind. I'm an idiot. Here we go. Up here, boom. Oh man, this level, like, it irritated the crap out of me when I was a little kid, because... Whoa! That is a huge range! It got me all the way... It almost got me all the way up here. Jeez. I didn't think they would have that great range. There we go. Almost the exact same time as we did in the first act. And yes, this is the only level we're doing acts. And most people don't know, it's because there was a level originally called Genocide City, or, well, also called Cyber City. It was originally gonna be a f just, like, a one-act mechanical level, but that was scrapped, and they just redrew the level design for, um, Metropolis Zone Act 3. And that's why it's the only zone with three acts. I'm gonna go to the bottom route, because I like to have more challenge. Oh, those crushing pills, I remember those. I'm just speed running. Look at me go. Whoa, whoa. Ah. Now this is a really fast area. Okay, how do I keep messing up? Let's see if I can make it. Okay, okay, I was like to say, what was Tails doing? Because that was very weird on what he was doing. Let's go up here and see what's up here. Come on, there we go. Oh, I was waiting for you, I knew you were coming. Up, slices, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the slices, man, because you can never, you never know when they're gonna pop up. They're just gonna pop out of nowhere. Nope! Aha! Whoa, 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 the skills! 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 What is going on with me all of a sudden? I can't believe I did that! Defeated two slices like that. That was awesome. No, you will not. Here we go. Uh, there we are. Whoa! That was really close. Ah, uh, we're at the end of the level. That's a shame. I could have gotten an extra one up if I did. There's not going to be enough rings, I bet. Yeah, not enough, sadly. 
Ah, this boss, I hate it. I'm gonna get hurt no matter what, because th there is a pattern to this boss, but oh my god, it is a pain to figure out. Like, really annoying, too. And see, why does Robotnik think this would work? They're freaking balloon versions of themselves. How did they think that was gonna work? And I don't know why I'm doing so good all of a sudden. Here's his final attack, which is actually pretty lame. Let's see how this works. <laughs> I love doing that, man. Alright, that zone is done with and over. Alright, that was pretty quick, a lot quicker than I expected. But now we're going on to Sky Chase, which is a very nice reward for all your hard work in Metropolis zone. Oh man, Sky Chase. I love, I love this song. It's just so beautiful. It definitely sounds like a Christmas melody, and it makes sense because Sky Chase's song was originally gonna be for a winter level. Just a theory though, just a theory. But it definitely does sound Christmas like. And it's very unique, and can we just say that Tails is literally the best pilot, I mean, pilot in the world? He's probably better than the pilot in Top Gun, because this guy is able to keep up with Sonic in his plane. Like, that's amazing. I know, it, you know, it's game logic, but still, man, it's just fun to think about. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, bombs got him. Whoa! Just popped up out of nowhere, man. Boing, boing, boing. Boing, boing, boing. Is it possible to get 100 rings? I do wonder if it is. It is pretty slow auto scroller, but honestly, I'm fine with it because you get a you get a huge break from all that work from the truck was on. It's definitely worth it too. And it's basically the calm before the storm, which is going to be when Fortress Zone that's going to show up in a second. Here it is. Man, that ship is just huge, man. That is huge. You know, it's kind of crazy how we don't really go inside other than, you know, the the boss. It is a pretty massive ship. I'm surprised Robotnik didn't use it again, but then again, Flying Battery is his greatest flying ship he's ever made. Or the Egg Carrier from Sonic Adventure, who knows? Why did he use these to conquer the world instead of just some death egg that is easy to defeat because of Sonic? You know, there's something I always question. How do you get that Bannock? And I don't even think you can get that Bannock. So, good luck to the people who like to take the challenge of can you defeat every Bannock in Sonic 2? Nope, it ain't possible because of those suckers. Kind of annoying. And what if you do? Do not ever spin dash on a plane, it's a huge mistake. And here we go, Wing Fortress, baby. Oh yeah, I think, yeah, this game is gonna turn 30 years old this year. Quite amazing, 30 years old, like, that's hard to say, because this game, like, this game almost feels like a modern platformer in some way. Should we take the shortcut? Nah, but I, would, I would like to defeat that Bannock, oops. He really does remind me of Scratch from the, Son the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog part. He really does remind me of him. What is over here? I don't really remember. Oh, Speechers, what's up here? Extra life. Let's go. Ah, right, almost got me. Whoa. Gotta be careful. Take that. I think his name is Quaka. I think that's the name of the bad like, I don't exactly remember. Here we go. Alright, now that is some serious speed. There we go. It's so weird that they have just ring models floating in the sky. It is pretty odd. And we may actually do get, um, a one-up. Oh, I keep forgetting, uh, that exists. And this area is pretty confusing to navigate, and definitely difficult. Really difficult level, because you can definitely fall off easily. And if you're super sonic, dear god, good freaking luck. It increases the difficulty by a lot. God, these platforms, I always hated them when I was little because of how quickly they disappeared. Almost got it, almost got it, there we go. Huh. You 
gotta avoid those, cause they kill you pretty much, I, I think, anyway. 111 rings, nice. Here we go, over here. There's a lot of secret areas to get into, also that was just lucky. I think we're right next to the boss, I'm pretty sure, yes we are, there it is. You gotta uh, open this lid, and there we go, we're inside the ship, or cockpit basically. Hey Eggman, I'm at Robotic, what's up, Chuckle? And this boss is really difficult, man. You gotta hit this laser with these kind of annoying moving platforms with spikes in the knee. It's so weird that the laser doesn't have a sound effect, you just gotta know when it's gonna fire. Ah, almost got me, whoa, that was close. Come on, almost got it, almost got it, there we go. Robotic's retreating, here's another secret one-up. And it's, uh, hold on, there it is, in here. Da, 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 da. Here goes a cutscene. Robotnik takes off, leaves Sonic behind, but Tornado, I mean, Tails, fixes the tornado and adds a secondary rocket booster to, you know, to boost it. That's quite impressive that a tiny point where the tornado can keep up with Robotnik's ship, because he only has, like, one, because the tornado only has one booster. And Robotnik has several, like, just how. People question how Sonic can be able to breathe in space, but I'm definitely sure hedgehogs can in fact breathe in space. Kind of hilarious that he can breathe in outer space but not water, but whatever. And seriously, how does he not fall off like that? He has some serious arm strength if he's able to do that. Alright, here we go to the death egg. And we're here. Ah oh, man, I love this song. It's such a shame that the song is only used at this area. Like, you can literally only hear the song for like two seconds, and when you go in this area, the music just stops. Kind of a shame. Here comes Metal Sonic? I don't know, there's so many different names. People call him Silver Sonic, I believe. And yes, there is no rings on this level. So one screw up and you're dead. He's pretty easy when you know how to defeat him, just be careful when you're jumping, and he is Eggman, which, for some reason, he can outrun Sonic, which is absolutely insane. And here he goes, inside the Death Egg Robot. Look at that beauty of a machine, like, that is a beast of a robot. Definitely a huge robot, I remember seeing 3D animations of this robot back in the day, and it was so cool, man. That like a very old 2007 YouTube video of the Sonic 2 ending with a 3D dude, that was so cool. Now you better rush. Come on, make it. There we go. Of course, I played this boss many times, so I remember the pattern, which is why he's pretty easy. He takes 12 hits, I believe, or 16? I don't know. But he definitely takes double the amount of hits, I'm pretty sure. There we go, I think one more hit and he's finished off. It's such an epic final boss fight, and I remember beating that boss when I was a little kid so long ago, dude. It was one of my proudest gaming achievements, man. Alright, we defeated him! Alright, let's rush out the death end. Come on, Sonic! Let's go! Alright, we beat the game! Already! And the recording didn't stop yet, thankfully. Oh man, I love this ending so much. People complain about having no color, but honestly, I think it's better. Just Sonic and um, Sonic's animal friends and Tails noticing the death egg. Like his animal friends are scared about Sonic, yet Tails knows that he's still alive. He gets in a tornado, man. He flies off, and just watch what happens next. Here comes Sonic full up on the sky, thinking that he's about to die. But then, out of nowhere, Tails in his tornado comes out and saves Sonic. And then all the flickies come out to, you know, see him. And they're pretty much happy. Man, this ending is just so beautiful, I love it, man. The music is so good in this song, man. I think this is a natural song by the band uh, Dreams Come True. It is really nice, though. And there we go! That is it! We did it! We beat Sonic 2! 
Man, that- it wasn't as fun as I think it would be. Okay, not fun, but I meant like, I'm sorry for the commentary. It wasn't as good as Sonic 1's, but I hope that you're still fine with it, because... Man, this game just holds a special place in my heart. I played this game to death, and it is still a blast to play. And this game, it basically is my favorite Sonic game ever made. I prefer it over Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and... It's timeless. Such a masterpiece of a game. It does have some flaws, but I could definitely overlook them. And also the two-player of this game. In a separate video someday in the future, I will try two-player versus. You can actually play co-op in this game. A second controller can control Tails in a single-player game, which is nice. Of course, you don't have much control, but it's still fun. Alright. I think the so uh, the credit song skips oil ocean. I'm definitely sure about that. There it is, dreams come true. That's the band I was talking about. Man, Masada Nakamura makes some amazing songs. I wonder what Sonic 3 would have been like if he composed the music for that game. I may do a supersonic video someday, but for now, nah, not really. In the future, I may make a, a play through a Sonic 2 with all the Chaos Ceremonies, I don't know, maybe. Um, I'm sorry if the picture quality comes bad off the CRT, it's really hard to record stuff off a TV like this, so I hope you don't mind. And, that is pretty much it, that is Sonic 2, just gotta wait for this ending song. Presented by SEGA! There it is, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I really like how they added an animation there. Ah, so good. But, that is it, and that's gonna be the end for this video. Um, I thank you so much for the 100 subscribers, I really do appreciate it. And I hope to continue making more content in the future. And with that being said, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do like it, please share uh, a like and share it with your friends if possible. And thank you for watching, and goodbye.